Hi everyone, welcome to the State of the Gym Address, Sunday, August 24th. Let me start off by apologizing for the delay on last week's uh, State of the Gym Address. Uh, just as having technical difficulties and could not get that thing to upload. I appreciate all the comments and I really appreciate everybody just tuning in. And uh, today we have no birthdays to announce for this week. But I do want to talk about a drill that we're going to do to, uh, to strengthen our shoulder musculature. And we're going to do it this week, so I want you guys to be familiar with it. It's called YITW is what it is. And um, really, we're just going to grab a couple of plates, and they don't have to be heavy. I've got five pound plates, but a two and a half would be appropriate. One and a quarter would be appropriate. But this is what the drill looks like. I'm going to go to those three, four positions. The Y, the I, the T, and I'm going to explain the W. But when I do this, I'm going to be hinged at the hip in a good morning position with my lumbar curve maintained. So I hinge at the hip. The weights are dangling. I'm going to come out to the Y. And I notice that I pause and come back. Out to the Y. Pause and come back. Out to the Y. I'm not just throwing and falling. Elbows are straight and I pause. We're going to do that for about 20 seconds. Then we're going to do the I for about 20 seconds. And I pause at the top with my elbow straight. Then I do the T for 20 seconds. Pause at the top, not letting any momentum take over here. The W is funny, so watch here. I start in the same position. I pull back. I externally rotate. I drive up to my eye, I pull back, I internally rotate, and I go down, pausing in every position. Retract my shoulders, pull the elbow back, externally rotate, press, back, internally rotate, and down for 20 seconds. That's what that drill is going to look like. Immediately following that drill, we're going to do 20 seconds of alternating toe touches. For the alternating toe touches, I want your knees straight. I'm going to stand on one leg. I can make this harder or easier by keeping my standing leg straight and getting it straight back. I can make it harder that way or I can keep it closer to my midline to make it easier. So I touch, stand, touch, Stand. It's easier if I keep my foot close. It's harder if I keep my leg straight and bring it as high up as I can. We'll do 20 seconds there, then 20 seconds here, doing the other side. Then we're going to go back to YITW and back to alternating toe touches. That's going to come in the programming this week, so I wanted to give you a heads up on it. In addition to that, uh, we're going to close out this week's State of the Gym Address with a cool tip about how to scale a strict muscle up from Coach Collin. So everybody, thanks a ton for tuning in and pay attention to this cool tip on how to scale for a strict muscle up. Hey everyone, this week I'm going to be talking to you guys about a couple different ways that we can scale a muscle up. Alright guys, so in this version of the muscle up, um, we're going to be working mostly on the strict muscle up strength. So we're going to band the rings to the pull up bar and they're going to be hanging down from above. We're going to start by standing up and getting a false grip as you see right now. And then you're going to sit down completely on the floor with your legs out in front of you. From there, as I start to play this video, you will see you are going to pull yourself all the way through a muscle up without moving your body at all. So you are pulling the rings around instead of like in a traditional muscle up, us moving around the rings. In this version, we are actually going to pull the rings through the full muscle up range of motion. 
Now in this video you're going to see that I'm using the green bands instead of the blue bands. Obviously the green bands are thicker, putting more resistance onto the muscle up, making it a little bit harder. So pick out a band type that is a challenge for you, but not impossible so that you can work through some reps. Now some of the benefits to uh, using this banded version to work on your strict muscle ups um, is that it's going to really force you to go through the exact range of motion that we're looking for and keeping those rings tight. You'll notice if you do try this out with the bands that if you let those bands get away from you at all and too far outside of your body, uh, they'll really shoot up fast. So make sure that you're really focusing on keeping those bands tight and being quick through that transition. Alright guys, so here is a quick little video on how to hook up the rings. Uh, it can be just a little bit confusing if you don't uh, think it through. So first you're just going to simply take the ring, you're going to loop a band around the ring first, just like that, pull it tight, then you're going to take that on over to the pull up bar, the ring is going to go over the bar and then loop back through the band, and that will give you the setup that you're looking for, do that with both rings and you will be all set to go. This scaling for the muscle up is one that we've used in the gym uh, quite frequently, but I wanted to give you guys a quick reminder. So you're going to loop it around one of the rings and then you're going to hold the other side with your hand. You're then going to sit your butt into the band uh, like you'll see here in a second. And now from here we can use that band to help us instead of our feet to do a muscle up transition. Now you'll see what I'm doing here is shooting my hips high to the rings so that's one of the big benefits of using the band is that you can learn to shoot your hips high to the rings as opposed to just pulling yourself through off of your feet if you're not using a band for the transitions so the key is sit sit in that band shoot your hips high to the rings and then be fast through that transition to snap over top of the rings um, for this, if you need to use a green band, that's also acceptable. Use a band that's going to allow you to not put your feet on the ground so that you can learn to send that hip all the way through and be fast through that transition. I hope you enjoyed that tip. If you are interested in doing that, then I want you guys to use the rings that we have on the pull-up bar. Now, if you are gonna dis if you're gonna take the rings off, guys, on the pull-up bar, I only want you to take off from here. Don't don't adjust this carabiner. Only adjust this carabiner. So, if you want to take the ring off, I'm just simply gonna come here on the lower carabiner. Take the ring off. I can band in on the pull-up bar, and I can do my strict muscle-ups. And then, please make sure that you leave the, the rings. Mounted evenly, okay? All right, guys, that's State of the Gym Address, Sunday, August 24th. Let's have a great week.